Hello everyone, Helder here. Uh, today I am reviewing the military issued entrenching tool or the e-tool as, as we refer to it in the Marines. I was first exposed to the e-tool as a United States Marine, got to put it through its paces, was extremely impressed with it and it's been part of my gear ever since. It's trifold, so as you could tell it's a convenient design, but uh, still rigid, still heavy duty, still military specs. Uh, but when it comes to putting it away or uh, just attaching it to your pack, it's great with this uh, trifold design. All right, um, there is a locking nut. So basically, you can angle the shovel or blade part in uh, whatever angle uh, you need it for, for whatever the mission is. And then you could go ahead and just lock down this nut, and it makes it rigid, both the handle part as well as the uh, blade part itself. So it, uh, keep in mind that the, uh, the blade itself is steel, so you're going to want to oil it in certain areas right by the nut. Uh, there, the tightening nut, uh, the mechanisms where there's actually pivots or any kind of rotations. So right there where the uh, shovel attaches and also uh, where the uh, the handle uh, folds. So keep that oiled. One of the uh, main uses that I use my e-tool for these days is uh, Dutch oven cooking. 14-quart, uh, 12-quart, has a big surface area. And this uh, shovel part is just big enough and perfect to uh, cover it with uh, just a, you know, a few reaches into the coals. And the uh, handle is long enough. Handle is also made of aluminum. It's uh, thick so that you could actually get in there and really dig uh, these foxholes in different type of terrains, whether it's sand, uh, mud, uh, harder dirt. Uh, it has these serrated edges, so you could use it for an, as, a, as an axe. Um, uh, it also, uh, de depending on which side you prefer. I prefer the uh, serrated side uh, just because of the way it's angled and right-handed. It just feels more comfortable for me. But not that I use it for this too much, but you could tell in a pinch, and we're always wondering if we're going to add 2.8 pounds to our gear, how many uses can I really get out of this tool? Is it worth carrying? Those are the questions you need to answer for yourself. All right, so always just make sure you take care of your gear. Uh, every once in a while, I even give it a coat of paint. All right, um, keep in mind that this could be used as a great self-defense weapon with the way that the point is on there. All right, you could cause some damage. I know the, the Russians, the United States Marine Corps, they do incorporate uh, training with the E-Tool or uh, a shovel into their combatives training. So uh, there's definitely multi-purposes as long as you uh, train with it and use it for uh, your needs. Uh, speaking of needs, when we're out in the field, finding a latrine, especially when we're out trekking in areas where a lot of people aren't, uh, latrines, latrines are usually pretty nasty. Uh, sometimes we prefer to just dig our own hole, and uh, that's where the e-tool definitely comes in handy. Um, just another great use for it. Once again, individual purposes, what's good for you. So uh, as you could tell, the uh, carrying case is good to go. has the Alice clips on it, so it easily attaches to uh, any Molly attachment. Uh, Alice packs, so on and so forth. All right, so that comes with the e-tool. And uh, once again, if you need something that's uh, good to go, military, battle-tested, multiple options, and uh, the way